In this video we're going to be making an orthodontic expansion device which we can then laser center in metal. So first of all we've made the models in the model designer and as you see over here we are mounting them according to the mounting plate on the articulator. Then we're going to bring in the condyles and then we're going to open the occlusion permanently a little bit. At the moment they are 1.6 degrees apart or 3.2 millimeters on the articulator. So let's set this to 1.5. Later on in the video we will discover that we should have maybe opened it up a little bit more. Then we're going to set this open permanently and we're going to take away the condyles. We don't need them anymore. Then what we're going to do is we're going to block out this model and I have set this to 0.1. So this is something you need to discover for yourself what the best fit is for laser centering. We're going to apply this and then we're going to remesh the model and survey it because we cannot have any undercuts. The model itself, you, it doesn't look like there are any undercuts anyway, but let us pursue the option of an um, undercut free model. Then we go to the splint module and we're going to then call a target model and we can, can paint on a layer. This is when we want to make orthodontic bands. Now I've set this to 1.4 millimeters which gives us a, a printing thickness of 0 0.7. But for this video I've been asked to make to use teeth to go over the top. So in the wax up module I'm choosing the teeth that I need and then I'm going to be moving them into position and scaling them. Remember these have to be scaled a little bit larger so that we have sufficient thickness for printing. This is something to keep in mind and we'll see that later that on the one side they've been a little bit thin. So a lot of attention has to be placed on the thickness of these. So once I've set them, I will check these with my occlusion and then we're going to cut the occlusion as well. But before we do that, we're going to wrap these around the actual model. So in the wax up module, in edit mode, we're going to edit this and it's a bit like pulling a sock over your foot. Click on G to extrude these parts. We can see that the occlusion is popping through, so this button gives us a potential to pull this out by 0.5 millimeters at a time. And we're going to continue doing so for the other side as well. And in the wireframe mode, we can actually see through the model. And this helps a great Then in the articulator module, then in the then in the articulator module, we're going to cut the occlusion. So again, I'm just being a bit vigilant with the thickness of these crowns, and then we're going to continue. So that becomes in the object being cut and the lower model is the object making the cut. And don't forget the offset. Apply the offset and then we're going to give it one cut. And then we're going to give it one cut. You can do all of the cuts if you want to, but we're going to leave this as a one cut only. Mm -hmm. 
Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and in the splint module cut the fitting surface. So we can see there's a little hole in the one of them. So for the purpose of the video, I will continue to proceed with the design of the appliance. So this is the housing that I've created. These housings can be found in the freebies section of the website. Okay. Now they fit the Hyrax. There's a mini and a, a, a large and a medium size and they can then be glued inside of this housing. So here what I'm doing is I'm going to be looking at the, the model and moving that housing downwards. I have parented the inside with this housing so as I'm moving the outside housing the inside screw moves with it. So I'm not an expert in how to make these and where to place them but you'll get the idea. Then in the splint module then in the splint module we're going to draw tubes. Make sure that you are selecting the model to offset this tube. And for this video I'm going to be making one tube design across the entire section. Then I look at it from the top and move them accordingly. After that we're going to voxel remesh it. I'm going to select 0 0.2, give it a little bit of a less transparent look. And here's what you need to do. So in edit mode make sure the proportional editing tool is on and then move it up into position where you want it to connect. Remember this tube is going to be printed with the housing. So this is looking really good. Now we, we need to focus on a few Boolean cuts. The first one I'm going to cut the center of this. If you wanted to laser center all of it in one go you could do that and then cut it right at the end for example or you can make a cut now. So in the model designer I've taken a square cutting tool and cut the way the section in the middle. Then I'm going to use the housing to cut away the inside and note also that it extends into our tooth. So we need to deal with this. I'm going to select the blue tube that's the object being cut and I'm going to be using the housing itself to make the cut and that will cut a section. And in the model designer, in edit mode, we're going to click on one vertice and then click on the clean button. So let's do exactly the same thing on the other side. Make sure that that doesn't intersect so that it does in fact cut all the way through and clean. Perfect, this is, this is looking good. Next, if you wanted to sculpt, sculpt it, you can do that. But for this video, I'm going to leave that section out. So following that, we need to address the inside. Now I have deleted my target model, which we should have used to cut away the section but I'm going to be using the actual model instead. So that becomes the object being cut. I'm going to be looking for my upper model and then cutting it. Now it's important to note that with laser centering we cannot export multiple objects intersecting each other. We need to make one mesh out of the entire, all of the objects. 
So how do we do this? I'm going to separate these objects out, select the objects I want, and we're going to voxel remesh them. So these are joined in the model designer. We're going to separate these and then select the ones that I'd like to keep. Join them up. So the midsection is still joined, so we need to separate that. Join these up. Control J on the keyboard. That's a shortcut. Or just click on Join T. That does the same thing. And voxel remesh it. Now I'm going to go a little bit finer. Note also that we have lost a little bit of surface there and that's because it's been too thin. So we're going to put this at 0 0.05 but we've got a little bit of edges happening there. So if that had been thick enough then we would have gotten a nice edge. So as you can see, the entire component has been remeshed into one. And then we're going to apply this and do exactly the same for the other side. Good, this concludes the video. If there's any questions or queries or you need help with something like that, please make a booking on our tuition site and we can gladly help you through this procedure. Okay, goodbye for now.